Golf Central. Brought to you by Titleist. Lots to get to tonight, and it all starts with the defending champ in Kuala Lumpur. Through 36 holes, Justin Thomas, once again, the toast of Malaysia as he led by two over Anabar Lahiri, who's looking for his first win on the PGA Tour. He opened with a pair of 66s at the CIMB Classic, and he'll be in that final group with JT on Saturday. How about Ryan Moore? Already a two-time winner of this event, thanks to a second-round 65. He's at 8-under going into the weekend and trying to make a move on the leader and here is the leaderboard as it stands right now in the CIMB Classic you see the third round just getting underway Hideki Matsuyama has made a move to 12 under par so he is in a tie for second just two back of Justin Thomas you see some of the other notable names including Russell Knox who won twice last season on the PGA Tour remember last year he had to play his way into next week's WGC HSBC Champions by virtue of how he fared at the CIMB Classic. Check out what Thomas has done the last two years at TPC Kuala Lumpur. In six total rounds, he's led or co-led five of them. His scoring average, 65 and change combined and almost a carbon copy of a start after two rounds for JT. 15 under back in 2015, halfway through and 14 under this year with Saturday and Sunday still to play. Hey there. Welcome into Golf Central. I'm joined right now by Jim Gallagher Jr., a multi-time winner on the PGA Tour. Why does Justin Thomas look so comfortable once again in Malaysia? Well, I think he just, you know, he said that he didn't maybe drive the ball or hit the ball as well today as he did yesterday, but he drove it better. But his stats, when you look at it from last year to this year, very similar, made 15 birdies. But he's hit a few more fairways. He doesn't necessarily have to hit driver off a lot of these tees. So I think it plays into his game. He says he's pretty good with his wedges. He is better than average on the uh, PGA Tour, at least he was last year. But, you know, he, he just gets on the golf course where he's comfortable. He, they asked him the question, and he couldn't answer it. So I just think it's a matter when you come in there and you're very confident and you see things off the tees. He says the par five's kind of set up good for him, but he puts these greens really well. It's not sometimes maybe the weakest part is his putting. They're not really fast, so I think that's an advantage for him. And if he couldn't answer it, probably a sign that he's not overthinking it and just letting things come to him well, so far. Exactly, and that's what you want to do. You want to play, you know, you don't want to play golf swing, you want to hit golf shots, and I think that's what a lot of players get caught up in and they get too much in the mechanics, but he's not done it, so he's done a pretty good job with that. Already has one win on the PGA Tour, looking for his second. The guy who was just two back of him going into the weekend, Adam Barn Lahiri, still looking for his first win on the PGA Tour with Golf Channel analyst Billy Kratzer. He's been on quite the run, it seems like, the last year or so, Anna Barn Lahiri. Yeah, and you look, at, he's coming into the golf tournament in pretty good form, George. You look at what he did last week. He finished with seven straight birdies. He lost uh, on the first hole of the playoff, but all in all, he's, he's playing quite well. He was a member of the 2015 President's Cup mm -hmm. team, and he is another player that feels very comfortable on this golf course. In fact, in 2015, he won the Maybank Malaysian Open and uh, on this very golf course so he does feel comfortable and uh, he's made some mistakes he's made uh, some bogeys he ended up the round the first round with a couple of bogeys and uh, a double bogey today but on a par five but all in all he loves this golf course and when you look at his last nine rounds of golf he is 37 under par wow. so when you look at players that come into a championship in good form Adabon Lahiri is one of those players. And it seems like that's a mindset you need with all the red numbers flying around. He needs to be a guy who can crank out a lot of birdies this week. Well, he does crank out a lot of birdies. You need to crank out a lot of birdies, and he's going to have to play quite well to get that first PGA win. And we're just getting the party going here on a Friday night on Golf Central. Still a lot to get to in this show. After pulling out of the Safeway, the Tiger Woods Media Tour in full swing, 14-time major champ on the Colbert Show. What did he say that's kind of surprising the golf world? And speaking of Tiger, some of the top animal encounters we've ever seen inside the ropes. Trust me, these are better to see from the safety of your own couch. This is Golf Central. <laughs> 